Hi everybody, good evening. This is Daniel. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start um, today's session. Uh, the nuggets I'm sharing about is prayer is valuable and prayer is also measurable. That is prayer it's valuable and prayer is also um, measurable. You know, just imagine that there's so many people out there who pray and there's so many prayers that have been lifted up and sometimes if you ask people what did you pray about most people probably do not remember the details of what they pray about prayed about the specificity of what they prayed about not because they don't want to remember but generally because of their perception about their underlying perception about prayer that you just say as many words as you can say heap it in a bucket in a basket and just throw it up and assume just assume hey god's might hear this one might not hear that one or god will do something people people have different views about prayer and i just wanted to felt to share this nugget with us about prayer that when you subject your prayer to measurement what you're doing is you're removing any form of ambiguity you're telling god that you mean business that hey i'm doing my part uh, and if there is answers to this prayer i know it's you it's not not anyone else it's you god because i'm coming specifically uh, i'm being clear about what i'm praying about uh, i'm not leaving things to chance it's either going to be you who answers it or it did not happen so so uh, my role when it, and your role when it comes to prayer is to be specific remove ambiguity and so that um, when it when there's an answer you can know specifically okay god did that because imagine whatever however old you are you know however young you are uh if you if you have ever prayed if you can say you've prayed over 100 prayers or 50 types 50 prayers points or specific needs or requests if uh, if you can remember every single one of them uh, I, i'll doff my cap off, off to you but if you if you wrote those prayer points down those things you prayed about if you wrote it down what you're doing is you're kind of being specific you're removing ambiguity so that you can check it off and say hey god has father you've answered this one thank you so you always want to write things down so that way you can remove ambiguity from your prayers okay and um, when you measure your prayer results we're talking about prayer uh, is valuable and prayer is measurable in, in the book of james we're told that uh, elijah was a man of, um, just like us but he prayed the amplified version said he prayed fervently and um, obviously God answered his prayer and if you look looking at Elijah specifically as a as a as a, one of the case studies uh, uh, he prayed that it might not rain and he was specific about the things he prayed about and when the result came we could say specifically back in those days people said oh it's Elijah that caused this. You know, even the king said that it's Elijah and it's God that caused this problem. So you and I, it's a great thing to learn how to be specific in our prayers. Because what we're doing, as I said earlier on, is we're removing ambiguity from our prayers. You're telling God that I mean business and you, you so that there is no doubt who answered the prayer when the results comes. So um, get a journal write the, the specific things you're praying about uh, 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 because truth be told I, I say it and I'll say it again uh, no matter how young or how old you are um, I, I use a young person even a young person of 15 years 15 years old uh, age 15 years probably has prayed in give or take uh, if we say has prayed 10 prayer points per year so 10 times 15 that's 150 prayers or even if they can pray as a baby less even for just five years five times 15 that's 75 so if you've ever prayed 75 prayers 
in a lifetime as a young person how, how much more as an older person now those 75 prayer points or more that you have prayed um, can you specifically say hey God answered this or were you vague when you came to God in prayers were you uh, were you just hoping that hey God might answer some he might not answer some you see uh, when it comes to uh, uh, in marriage the, the seriousness of that marriage or, or that I want to marry this woman uh, as a man is I put a ring on her hand or I ask her parents uh, if they're alive or you know I do what needs to be done that I'm taking this relationship to the next level the same way when it comes to prayer, uh, if you are a man or woman that expects your prayers to be answered, then you must begin to put value on your prayers and you must also begin to measure your prayers. And the way you measure your prayers is you write them down. That this is the thing. Don't pray vague prayers. I mean, you know, let's, let's get away from the attitude of just heaping up words. You know, it's kind of making noise. Uh, or getting excitement about the sweetness of the sound of our own voice. That's not the goal of prayer. When you pray, uh, you're believing God that he will answer your prayers. And so uh, uh, a sign that you are as well as you and I are serious about God answering our prayers is when we write those prayers down. So we we hold ourselves accountable and in essence we're also holding God accountable obviously the things we're praying about I, I don't want to go into the semantics of it being according to his will obviously it can be some crazy stuff that would uh, harm someone else you know so 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 that things prayers that lines up with God's words that are not contrary uh, that that would enhance humanity enhance your, you yourself you know so write the prayers down so that way you can come back and say, okay, I prayed this prayer on the 17th of January 2018 or, or however long ago you prayed it if you had written it down. So that's that. Now, now when, you, when you look at, um, I say this, when you look at um, Diamond uh, that was caught from the mines in um, Sierra Leone or any African country or any other country or part of the world where you have um, raw diamonds, the individuals that go to those diamond mines and um, you know, diamond fields and, and, and bring them out from the ground, they sell it, resell it to middlemen. And when they sell these this diamonds to middlemen, they probably sell it to them, give or take uh, anywhere from $20 or not, definitely not more than $100. And this same diamond that was taken from that field that an individual valued at 10 or $20 or $100 or less is the same diamonds that we have in our shops in, uh, in New York or, or whatever, or in Antwerp, in uh, whatever other part of the world. Those same diamonds are the ones that uh, are sold to us for thousands of dollars or thousands of pounds. The quest question is, who determines the value of diamond? To someone in the minefield in Syria alone, the diamond is worth less than $100. To someone who comes to the shop or the stores in, in New York, in Antwerp, in, in, in Denmark, in any high luxurious luxury store, that diamond is worth thousands of dollars. So who determines the value? The truth of the matter is both of them are correct because it's the individual you and I are the one who determines the worth of anything. In the same way, the worth of your prayers, how valuable your prayers are, you and I are the ones who determine it. No one can determine how valuable my prayer is, but myself. Likewise, you are the one that will determine how valuable your prayer is. And a way to determine that is go beyond just praying without holding God accountable and yourself accountable and the way you do that is you write things that you're praying about down I said earlier on and I emphasize it again um, if no matter how young or how elderly you are uh, someone who's 15 years old give or take probably that individual started praying at the age of nine 
so that's probably 9 to 15 that's probably uh, six years and if he prayed just even just 10 prayer points per year six times 10 that's 60 would you remember that if it was you I wouldn't so what I'm saying in essence is that let's show our seriousness about putting value on our prayers by writing what we're believing God down so that when God answers we, we can categorically say hey it's God that answered it's no, no one else it's God that answered and if it doesn't happen we know that hey it did not happen it doesn't make God less God you know but the point is that I'm I'm, I'm chosen and the nugget I'm sharing I've chosen to value my prayers and I've chosen to measure my prayers the Bible says God can answer more than what we ask or what we think so there's a dimension of uh, measurement in prayer remember when um, Elijah prayed we're told in James that Elijah is a man like passion, with like passion just as well but he prayed earnestly that he might not reign the effectual heartfelt earnest prayer effectual earnest heartfelt prayer of a righteous man or woman makes tremendous power available or has great impact so 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 heartfelt earnest prayer makes tremendous power available in other words it is measurable every prayer get away from the from the lifestyle of not measuring your prayers if you're serious with your heavenly father and if you're serious with your prayer life or serious with your time begin to measure your prayers remember you determine the value of your prayer and you are the one that has to measure your prayers nobody will measure it for you you measure your prayers uh, to God be the glory when I started this years back as a child as a, as a kid over 30 years ago and I've seen significant consistent results all because I went away from the realm of just praying haphazardly and you know maybe God will answer maybe he won't answer if God is true to his word and if I believe God's word that whatever I ask in faith without doubting he will hear me that's what God's word says whatever you and I ask in faith without doubting he will hear us so put God to the test put your and begin to measure your prayers you're stepping up your game when you measure your prayers you're saying I'm going from the realm of just ah, ah, maybe God will answer maybe he won't answer no 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 his word says if I ask if you ask anything according to his will he will answer us so that's the nuggets I'm sharing today and we're going to go ahead and pray for those in the marketplace now uh, it's a short session this evening um, again uh, just go ahead and we declare words in prayer uh, for those in the market father we bless your name thank you for as many who are making a difference in the marketplace may the heavens open afresh over all those in the marketplace round about the world now we lift up in particular the next generation of market leaders we ask you father that the heavens open afresh over them that your favor that your presence that your peace will go over every single marketplace leader that adversity will not diminish them or hinder them from moving forward that you will give oh god innovative ideas that will create jobs innovation will freely flow over those in the marketplace we pray for those who are employers of labor those who are making impacts around the world whoever they are and wherever they are father we ask we pray for captains of industry we pray for the leaders and the ceos of conglomerates oh lord we ask that you will increase your hand upon them your peace upon them for the fact that oh lord they are creating employment oh god they're helping people oh god to provide for their families so lord we ask that you will keep this one oh god that they will not shipwreck that they will not be discouraged that they will not be weary that they will not be worn out oh lord help them to rest when they need to rest help them to wake up refresh lord in the name of jesus we speak new strength upon all our market leaders oh god and especially i pray for those in the renewable energy sector those oh god who are seeking the well-being of planet earth 
Father, we pray for this one, O oh God. We pray, O oh God, that more, uh, more in ideas will flow in the area of electricity generation, particularly for the parts of the world that do not have consistent, constant electricity, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray for those, O oh Lord, involved in innovation, O oh God, in the area of agriculture, Father. We ask, O oh God, that help, O oh God, ways we can maximize the usage of our soil, the uses of the land, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Father, Lord, for your peace round about oh god the minds of all those in the marketplace we pray god for grace your presence your leading your direction we lift up oh god the various board meetings that they will do we lift up oh god the various team uh, brainstorming sessions oh lord that they engage in we pray that creative ideas oh god that will make a difference in such companies will arrive we lift up oh god as many oh god younger ones that are starting their own business in the marketplace we ask you father that you will give to them the right mentors oh god we ask that they will not give up oh god that they will not faint nor will they lose heart in the name of jesus we ask that they will go oh god into the marketplace oh god that you will cause them oh god to be more knowledgeable more excellent than their teachers as you did it for david oh lord do it for this ones we pray that the next generation we excel the previous generation in the marketplace we pray that the heavens open afresh upon all those in business we ask oh lord for your peace we ask oh lord for encouragement oh lord we break the hold of suicidal tendency those who have failed in business we ask that you will help them to recover to be restored we ask oh god that suicide will not be the final thought in their minds in the name of jesus keep the marriages keep the homes of all our marketplace leaders keep them those in africa keep them bless them we speak your blessing upon men such as dangote we speak your blessings upon men men such as bill gates we speak your blessings and your grace upon men such as bill branson oh lord we speak your blessing and your grace upon those who are known and those who are not known in the marketplace we speak your blessing upon team leaders upon uh, project managers we speak your blessings upon every every cater of staff in any organization we ask oh god for excellence in business excellence in the marketplace we ask for the discipline required we ask for the integrity in our businesses integrity in our world in the marketplace we ask oh lord innovative ways of doing business ways oh god that would generate more employment we acknowledge oh lord that there will be there will be innovation that technology is being used in businesses we acknowledge oh lord that this will cause oh god many to lose their job but we pray that the father in as much as it is to your glory to conceal a matter and it is to the glory of kings to search it out we pray god that we will search out ways to bring gainful employment to people around the world in the name of jesus poverty will be a thing of the past in this generation we pray in the name of jesus we pray god that every country every country will specialize we pray for speciality in every country wherever any country is strong in we pray lord that they will excel in their strength in any area oh god in food production oh lord in technology in certain the service industry in the financial sector we pray lord that you will help us as humanity to begin to specialize across borders that we will not see each other as competitors that countries continents will not see each other as competitors anymore but we will see each other, O oh Lord, as people, 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 O oh God, being there for one another. And so we pray for the poor, O oh Lord. We pray for the rich. We pray, God, that you continue to bless the rich. We pray, God, that they may be able to be a blessing as well in the name of Jesus. We pray that you will help the poor. We pray, God, that the hands, O oh God, not just, O oh God, in needs, not just in aids, O oh Lord but we pray that you will help the poor to be diligent oh god about their business we pray for godliness we pray for contentment contentment around the world lord we bless you again for the marketplace we bless you for men oh god after the band of bell Belalio, oh Lord, Father, we pray that you will give many ideas, creative ideas, and we pray that you will raise up men and women who will implement and execute those ideas. We pray for discoveries, hallelujah, discoveries in the medical field. We pray for super innovative discovery that will generate funds, oh Lord, to the 
to the investors that will generate funds, O oh Lord, to the idea innovators as well. We pray for more startups in Africa. We pray for more startups in Europe, more startups in the United States, more startups in Latin America, in North America, Southern America. We pray, O oh Lord, across the world, let there be, O oh God, an increase in wealth. It is your word that in the times of the end, knowledge will increase. And so we pray that the productive aspect of the increase in knowledge, it will impact our world in a favorable way. We choose in our time that the marketplace, O oh Lord, will create employment for many. We choose that in our day, in our time, that light will shine. In the name of Jesus, we will pray, O oh God, for as many, O oh Lord, men and women who are, O oh God, after the band of Joseph of Arimathea, who will fund the gospel, who will fund the kingdom, we ask you, Lord, to raise them up. Men and women who will give to the orphans, who will give to the widow. We pray for businesses, organizations that are that their corporate social responsibility service, oh God, is active, is vibrant. We ask you, Father, concerning this one's, oh God, these companies, bless them the more. Show them those who are struggling in debt, struggling in their finances. We pray Pray that, Lord, you will make a way. It is your word that those that give to the poor, they lend to you. And so as many companies, as many organizations, as many of those in the marketplace that have given to the poor, that have been helpful, oh God, to the needy, to the widows, to the orphans, we ask you, Father, that you will remember such businesses. And Lord, supernaturally, you will increase them on every side. Enlarge them. Enlarge them with resources, with finances. Enlarge them. Enlarge them and establish them that there will be companies that will go from generation to generation we pray for generational businesses we pray lord that they will continue that they will not die in the generation of the sons or the daughters now in the name of jesus we lift up as many <laughs> families has owned their own business that the family business will go on from generation to generation that we will see in our own days in our own time businesses that ex that go beyond just the father or the mother but go into the grandchildren and the great grandchildren and those companies will stand we pray for such we use such companies oh god as a point of contact just like johnson and johnson we use them as a point of contact we'll use them as a point of contact and release that grace upon the earth we release that favor upon planet earth right now in the name of jesus we give you all the glory all the honor the majesty hallelujah to your name amen amen i want to thank everyone that has joined me uh, for this session um, continue praying tomorrow it's on the on my facebook page uh, what tomorrow's session will be just 15 to 30 minutes i just spend praying um, from concerning different issues and feel free if you feel this will be a blessing to someone share it with them uh, we pray for marriages we pray for global issues uh, different things uh, there's a there's a schedule there 15 to 30 minutes uh, and that's all and I do this I'm a prayer missionary um, in the body of Christ I also work in the office of a prophet and just grace to to leave a legacy to do something for the next generation you'll be surprised People assume that everyone knows how to pray, but that is not true. If it were true, the disciples of Jesus would not have asked him, teach us to pray. And my assignment um, as a Christian is to pray for people and also to teach people how to pray. Just simple. That's all I do. I pray for people and I teach people how to pray. Again, I thank you so much for taking out of your busy schedule. I don't take it for granted. I will not put anyone on blast, but keep on keeping on. Be the best you you can be. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your strength. Excel in your craft and have fun while you're doing it. Have fun. Live life to the fullest. You have one, you and I have just one life to live. Live it to the fullest. Live your footprint on planet Earth. It is well with you. I celebrate you all. A new year happiness to everyone yet again. And um, be blessed. Avida Ze, Astelego, Odigba, Comesia, Mukwana Lafia. See you all later. <laughs> it is well. It is well. Bye. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. I thank those in Nigeria, those in Europe, those in the United States, those in Texas, uh, those in the United Kingdom. Thank you so much. I do not put anyone on blast, but I appreciate you all thank you feel free to leave your comments and share uh, this post if you feel it will be a blessing and encouragement to someone thank you so much you have a great rest of your day whatever time it is wherever you are thank you bye